What's up, Jaguar Country? This is my daytime makeshift recording studio because I've got nothing better schemed up right now. But we've got some adversity going this week with the weather. I feel that we're very fortunate that we got in that band and choir concert on Monday night. And that was a very special event for me. You can read all about that on page six of my newspaper. I don't want to get into that because I, I just might cry over that because it was so special to me what happened with that packed house. But our teams and our, our academics and a lot of our staff are facing adversity this week with the weather. And thing, those things are out of our control. I want to share something, uh, a real good lesson I learned today. Earlier today, I went over and had to visit with coach and teacher Mr. Matt Goodwin and up rolling up the driveway pushing a snowblower was his dad, the retired coach, teacher, Mr. Brad Goodwin. And I was explaining to uh, his the younger counter, younger Goodwin how I see the, the boys team lost a game. They lost this Ashby game tonight because of the weather and losing these ability to play games is brings adversity from my perspective. And so there I am carrying on about that. And what does Mr. Brad Goodwin say? He says... Adversity, welcome it, bring it on. And his whole mindset is, don't sit there and whine about it. It's adversity. You need to welcome adversity when it comes and you got to rise up and get past it. And that's his whole, that's, that's his whole mentality, Mr. Brad Goodwin. And, and he's fostered that his whole career Going back to the 1980s when he was the head Buccaneers boys basketball coach. And then he was number two on our varsity fast pitch staff in the 90s. A wonderful man, Mr. Brad Goodwin. But he, had, he was right. He basically said, why are you whining about this weather and, and this, that? It's adversity. Welcome it. Rise up. The better people, the better teams... Rise up to adversity. And when, it, when they're facing it, they welcome it. And you rise up. And you don't cower. You don't cower in the face of challenges. You have to straighten your back and welcome it. And that's, that's the winner's way. So I just want to say thank you, Mr. Brad Goodwin, for the inspiration today. Tomorrow, home cooking for the girls' basketball team Wrestlers are sent off at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Hopefully, they head north to Pequot, Pequot Lakes. I'll get more updates on the Jaguar blog.